Hello everyone, this is Dhananjay from MDM support team. Today we will discuss about a BE service extension, external calls. So agenda for today's session is a business entity service extension, external calls, what it is used for, what is configuration uh, required uh, to call for external calls and a quick demo. We will get started with a business entity service extension, external call. Before we jump into external calls, first it's important to understand what is external web services. Uh, web services are used for uh, cl data cleansing, analysis and transformation of business entity data. You can use uh, external web service for custom validation such as checking if address is empty when you create a person uh, record. Also, external web service can be used to apply custom logic when you do business entity transformation. Now let's uh, check external calls. So idea behind external calls are very simple. You have an external web service available as SOAP calls. You configure in MDM to use that external web service for certain steps in your business entity execution logic. You must configure the business entities and the event for which you want to execute uh, you want to execute an external service. Also, you need to ensure that uh, external calls are configured as extension in business entity service. Now here in the diagram, if you see on the left side, uh, we have business entity service and these are different service phases where you can implement uh, your uh, custom logic. Once custom logic is implemented, what it does like at that specific service phase, it goes and look for the service, uh, uh, SOAP service provider, does uh, custom validation or data cleansing and gives a response back to business entity service calls. Now let's uh, quickly check the steps required for configuring external calls. First step is you develop and deploy your external web service as SOAP calls. Next, uh, you upload the WSDL file for the SOAP service. Next, uh, you need to register the SOAP service uh, through provisioning tool. Then you say like, uh, say this is, then you mention the external calls and in external calls, you specify the business, uh, business entities before, for which you want to implement and what service phase you want to configure this external calls. Once all these steps are done, you publish your configuration to MDM Hub. Now let's uh, quickly jump uh, to the demo section. So here what I have done, like we have a sample code for external calls in our resource kit. I have imported that uh, project in my Eclipse and uh, it has some sample codes around the custom validation, like a validate person when there is no address. Uh, you, there is uh, another custom logic for merge person. In my example, I'm using validate person. If you see the, what it does when you create a person record, it required to have address for uh, person. So what I've done for this project, you compile this project and export as a year file and you deploy in your app server. Now I have built my external uh, SOAP service and deployed it. Now I logged into provisioning tool. First step is to register the WSDL. So now I come here in WSDL section and I mentioned this is the WSDL path. Second step is to register the SOAP services. In SOAP services, you need to specify the endpoint uh, URL and what uh, SOAP service name it is. And then you go to external calls I have an external call configured called validate person. First thing you have to say like for which business entity you want to implement uh, this uh, external call and what are the service phases. In my example, if you see, I'm saying right view before everything, before doing everything, I want to call this external uh, call. Now I have uh, deployed my external call. So what I'm going to do, like I have come to postman. From Postman, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm firing a post, post call to create a person record. And if you see in my JSON request, I don't have any address detail. 
so what should happen if I fire this call? It should throw me a custom validation error saying person needs to have a uh, address. So I fired this call. If I see the response, as expected, it it threw me a one error saying a person must have at least one address. So now in my JSON request, I have passed a person detail as well as address detail. If now, if I fire this call, it created a person as well as address record in my system. B external calls can be compared to IDD user exit, but there are some major differences. Let's uh, talk about that. First is availability. B external calls are available at API level. IDD user exit works in UI only. Next one is uh, distributed transaction support. B external calls, uh, B extra external calls works outside uh, exit transaction. So there is no there is no concept of uncommitted data when you use external calls. But if you enter in IDD user exit, some of the methods are within exit transactions and others are not. Next is in terms of coverage, external calls are available for all BE services, uh, where IDD user exits uh, are available for limited number of op operations. That is all I wanted to cover as part of uh, this session. Thanks for your time.